are we, Grana? Well, it's mid-August and TF Nation is in the air. In fact, is it today? Should I have left? So I reckon it's time to catch up on a video I should have made about 51 and a half weeks ago with a post, post, post MTF peek at TF Nation's first ever exclusive figure. Yes, indeed, time to skip back to 2017 and finally make friends with this adorable blue beetle blob. It's only bloody rune. So this endlessly endearing TFN mascot was in fact one of four iterations of the first ever figure from relative third party noobs, Mars toys, who seem to be coming at the whole morally dubious unlicensed figure thing from a relatively harmless and well-intentioned angle, with an original take on Bumblebee's pilot episode Cybertronian form, which I don't think we'd ever seen in plastic before this, and being a blue female version of a heretofore unproduced G1 design and a kind of soft reboot of a certain botcon icon, bot icon, she's kind of a nerd bait perfect storm. Now that's what I call Maz appeal. Mm. So yes, Rune's a rare generation style take on a character named Glyph, who was born at BotCon 02 as a shiny blue bumblebee, which I haven't got, boo. But if you'll allow me a brief diversion, I can give you a fair unofficial approximation in the form of Impossible Toys Glyther. Now this stumpy bumblebee was one of like nine versions of the Impossible mini car mold, and it's an aggressively average affair. Pretty much just an upscaled, mildly articulated penny racer scalawag with a big old bumble belly and a tiny choking hazard handgun. But being a straightforward size up with practically no innovation, she does kind of come off like a KO. I mean, it's not shit, but it's so basic. And it doesn't really fit anywhere in my collection, especially since Rune showed up and usurped its job. But you know what? I've always got room for a chubby blue VW. Not great? Don't hate. Now then, back to Rune, and we'll begin, I think, with the alt mode, because the designers obviously did. Check out this adorable little horizontal hump of a thing with its sweet sideways saucer styles, like some kind of techno earlobe. So she's definitely a surprisingly hefty little saucer daughter. Certainly feels good and stodgy with her limbs and that all crammed in there nice and tight. Cheeky bit of gun stashage right there and like actual wheels that can pull off a proper little trundle. Looking a touch tawdry topside though. Like the entire thing's sort of an ovoid shell dome with some admittedly decent detail. I suppose it's appreciably attractive with a little backside butt boosters, couple of double A power flanks and these joyfully daft little comic book speed lines. But the paint job's perhaps a touch too subtle? I mean, you know me, I love me some blue, but can we perhaps do more than one bit with some paint on it? Like, I've tried to snazz it up a smidge with an auto badge or three, but toy hacks, can we? You know. Front end's also looking a smidge ropey. Like, I guess it makes a near enough nose comb, but it's definitely got a distinctly crotchy air. And that's kind of it for the alt mode. It is what it is, and it sure ain't what it ain't. I mean, it's perhaps a little boring and dorky. Borky. But if nothing else, it's totally runique. Like, it's a fairly well realised what if alt character version of an underrepresented slice of Cybertronic history. And if that ain't exactly what convention exclusives are for, I mean, I don't know what is. And I, for one, glyph for this shit. Glyph for this! Glyph! Glyph! Glyph for this! Yes, Mama Rune. Transformation's a classic case of unfurl and approximate, with a shader shell forming and some mildly uncertain shoulder stowage. So Rune's robo mode falls somewhere twixt legends and deluxe size. Let's call it rotund class. Check out this charming little chubster. She's definitely a disarming little cute lump with a dumpy form and plumpy proportions. Now, the style she's rocking is a sort of baggy looking comfort fit, which I'll concede may not be for everybody. I mean, she is practically wearing her alt mode like a loose overcoat she borrowed off her mum. Like, that's a lot of ass flap, and these arm wedges are bare mischief. They never quite seem to come to rest, like where do they actually go? And even her actual arms are a bit freeform under there. Like the shoulders don't seem to have anywhere to clip in, so you just kind of have to guess. And the forearms are just drowned in these peculiar curvy kibble canoes. So she is a bit of a lumpy space princess, but there's a good robot in there somewhere. I mean, look at her sweet little noggin. It's sort of a semi-cliff jumpery skinny Beelzebonce with a conversely angelic pure white Cherub mush. Legs are thunkingly thick with these conical canister thighs and some serious stomping cyber wedges. Love the classical techno deets on there and these big old crop circle mecha blisters. Plus she's certainly a weighty mama. Plastic's practically so dense that light bends around it and the knees have got some wonderfully smooth action. Also this cool decolletage cockpit curve is pure class. And this tummy construction gives her an ab crunch swivel combo that most deluxes would kill for. So yeah, she's largely a pretty classic little runatic with a sort of
sort of affable scrappiness you just can't teach. And it is a real shame that the arms are so lost under this mighty canopy of spaceship bollocks. Plus with this basic ass paint job of just blue and white with yellow eyes, she does look a bit naky. Look, let's just say there's room for improvement. I mean, she's still a great example of my favourite side of the whole third party thing. Like this incarnation of the Bumblebee body type just didn't exist before. And I'm sure that as Bumblebee or Goldberg, it's probably mightily dapper, but as Glyph, it's just irresistible. She is my small chubby daughter, and I am proud. Now then, do I recommend Rune? Is she good enough to track down? Can you even get one anymore? I don't know. I mean, she's definitely your best option for a high quality figure of Glyph, if that's what you're after. But more than that, to me at least, she's a tangible plastic shard of the good times, the giggles, and the absolute mother of a hangover that was TF Nation 2017. So big up the TFN massive. Cheers to Erica for Glyffa, and here's to another one. Ruined forever. Be sure to subscribe for more Theo's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.